Oh, here it goes. 2010 Microsoft Corporation. Well, here we go, watching Reach. And the four of us are all here, and we all worked on this game, and we've been here for so many years. And who's the first one to introduce himself? So I am uh, Steve Scott. I'm the uh, effects lead here at Bungie. All the cool explosions, Steve. Well, we, my department. <laughs> <laughs> There's uh, There are four of us uh, making effects for this yes. game. It used to just be Steve. I know. Now Steve has a bona fide department. There's and Lee. I'm Lee Wilson, and I was the story and cinematics lead on Reach. Nice job, Lee. From the very beginning? Delicious. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was just a small team. I'm Marcus Leto, the creative director for Reach. And, uh, yeah, we're here together with all four of us. Oh, Marty, you get to introduce yourself. I'm Marty O'Donnell. I'm the audio director and composer for Bungie and Reach. Reach. After the Covenant had dumped on it. Mm. It's a little uh, goat's to every magic now. From the beginning, you know the end. You, you know, know that it's glassed. It's glassed. And there's horrible, a sad helmet. Steve, yeah. I love that effect. That heat effect. A little distortion. That is one of the best effects in the game. Sweet. I thought it was a grunt birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> so clean, so simple. Mm. A little boring. <laughs> no, Lee, no, I like it too. I think it's really cool that we uh, actually made that helmet dynamically change. Yes. Depending on, on what your selection is. <laughs> and it was surprisingly oh, was it really? simple as well. Uh, yeah. Come on, Marty. <laughs> Didn't cause any problems. You played this. Well, I, thought, I thought the burned out helmet was just always... What? No. You know how much There's you There's a destroyed version of every helmet. <laughs> I always used the it default took forever. helmet. That's my problem. Scott Shepard came up with that. Wow, what I love great. about this hog is that we actually captured CJ driving it across the map. So he's skidding it right here. Yeah, really? Yeah, it wasn't so sort of like custom animated or anything right. like that. Now you'll notice, guys, that this music is different than what we did in the, with the original trailer. Because the original trailer was for All audience, this is for hours. the, the game. game. For the player experience. And June has his helmet off. And now you're sending us. Do you like his tattoo? Oh, I love his tattoo. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What is that tattoo? I disagree. It's a Man. fist holding... It's a fist of spears. So okay, a fist of spears. Who came up with it? Okay. I think that was Scott Shepard, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Uh, and if you saw Scott Shepard... Oh, wait, no, is uh, Chris Alderson. Okay. I don't know, Scott Shepard said he was going to tattoo it on his head after this game was done. And he probably will. Yeah. He is an open canvas. We should introduce our actors here. You go right ahead. Uh, Pat Duke is uh, Holland. That's Freddie Bosch is Car Carter. Lieutenant. Um, Commander, sir. I'm Carter. Now we're listening to the male six. Mm -hmm. Which, what was his name? Uh, Philip Anthony Rodriguez. Yes. Philip Anthony Rodriguez. Um, that's a great shot. Me, I'm just June is uh, Sunil. Sunil. Cat um, is Alona Tal. Oh, yes. Great but name. Uh -huh. Alona. She'd kick your butt. Team. She would, too. She was is, Israeli military. She was great. Clear. Got it, sir. And who did we miss? George. George, George Hakim. Hakim. Who we've actor. worked with before. Yeah. And Neil? Jamie Hector was uh, Emil. Yeah. Who's also known as Marlo from. Oh, Hawaii. yeah. And we're complete fanboys around him. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> we just, he was so much fun to work with. Listen up, noble team. No. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're going to introduce ourselves it's to... So, Marcus, so this was... Uh, this get it back Halo game had a, a couple of firsts. Like, one, you could play as a male or female Spartan. Yeah. And for the first time, you saw the Spartan faces. Finally. Finally. <laughs> get, get underneath that armor. It was one of the big uh, mandates we had when we started this project. Understand a little bit about who these characters were, make them a little bit more iconic than the Master Chief ever could be. Mm -hmm. Which was cool. I think we pulled that off pretty good. Mm -hmm. Totally. So here's a little of the uh, trailer music, just in case you were wondering. Yeah. It does sneak in, but in a different space. So how much, what is our draw distance? Way, way further. Yeah? How did you work that out? Keep your distance. 
I mean, it's, the vistas are so amazing in this. Yeah, we set out to uh, increase the draw distances, open up the battlefields, and pack them full, full of, you know, like four times more things than we've ever been able to do before in the past. So when we're flying in here, we are actually looking at yeah. the, the map we play on. Everything we wanted to do was directly at odds with what our engine could do <laughs> coming out of Halo 3. Let's check it out. So they had to rebuild nearly everything. Yes. As far as the engine is concerned. Is that why some of my material effects changed a little bit? Everything changed. I know. Yes. Okay. I accepted it. It drove you bananas, I know. No, just a little bit. I wanted to hear myself crunching on the cabbages there. When I oh, God, time. Marty. <laughs> that was one of the tests that I did. I went up and uh, I meleeed a cabbage. Did you get a cabbage sound? Um, I, I think on one of the early tests it was a wood sound. A wood sound, probably. <laughs> mm -hmm. There was wood just about every place for a while. Yeah. But is it a cabbage sound now? No. That has to do with the material effects having to be a little bit more global. Oh, okay. Global. Okay. So Steve I've got to go to my I'm local supermarket about. to uh, get a cabbage sound if I melee it? Oh, hey, look at that. Found a beacon. Now here we are with there. the first vignette. Make out any idea? Oh, look at that. Negative. But it's military. What, what was this called? The thespian system? Yes. What did that do besides give us headaches? Why are we not seeing explosives? Oh, gosh, Marty. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that allows us to, like, bring, you know, some of that thousand-page script into the game. Circle West and check it out. Oh, oh, oh. Melee that thing. <laughs> it makes a fun noise when you melee it. Isn't there an achievement for knocking Killing down a bunch of this? Walk through this yellow bush. Oh, I didn't hear it. Yellow bushes make noise. Yes. Thank you, Marcus. Well, You're welcome. <laughs> Is what one are the ostr <laughs> ostriches called? <laughs> Moas. Moas. Okay. Moas. And, and can we ride them? We used to be able oh. to. Oh, sad days, I know. There was, we should tell the fans that there was a joust game that was going to happen. There and was. You could ride the Moas and play joust. With and it energy was actually, swords. It was actually working for quite a while. Sure it was. Oh, another first for Halo games, civilians. Civilians. Oh. Don't shoot the civilians. Reach is lousy with civilians. It's awesome. Now George is speaking Hungarian here. And he understands Hungarian. Yes. Wait, are we revealing that this is Hungarian? Apparently. You just did. <laughs> did you know what he said? Um, this is real, really translated Hungarian, and we had phonetically spoken dialogue that we could teach the actors. Garink, which means get back. That's right. Where you once belong. That's right. Nope. Press left button to sprint. Go, go. Wow, look at the rain. Yeah, rain. I love Fantastic. the new rain system. Damn. Look, and you go inside and you don't see the rain anymore. And you we hear the pitter-patter on the roof. Mm -hmm. Jay did a good oh. job with that. Some buzzing Looks flies. Like yeah. I like roof. the lighting, too. It's messy. It's creepy. It's messy. It's spooky. The jackal goes over. Or the, not the jackal. Skirmisher. 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 Sorry. I meant skirmisher. I see movement outside the structure. Here we go. go First battle. Up to the west. We're about to be huh? Damn it. Covenant. Contact! Contact! Cat. Spartans, assist! Here we go. Oh, oh. kill that one. Yeah. Into the Move down to the lower level. Hopefully we'll, we'll get my, uh, uh, my first appearance in a Halo game as Falcon Pilot number two. Yes! Oh wait, that was it. <laughs> we missed it. <laughs> oh. That's nice work. This is one of my favorite areas. This exit out of this, yeah, yeah this the Pioneer barn. Mm. barn out into the pasture. It's a great firefight map, too. This was so cool. We integrated all the multiplayer and firefight spaces into the campaign. It was a big pain in the butt. I don't know if we'd do it again if we were to do this game over, but uh, <laughs> I think overall it served its, uh, it feels, its purpose well here. It feels great to me because you, you, you see all these spaces and several different contexts and it just feels really cool. Yeah, you get to play through in the daytime here yeah. or when it's raining and then in firefight mm -hmm. or uh, we, we can turn the rain off, we can brighten it up. We did that uh, a lot for all the multiplayer maps. Firing. Enemy 
thank goodness I had help on this project because we have so many water features in the game. You did the first <laughs> waterfall on Halo, Halo 1. That's right. I remember that. I took the, like uh, the Samam or, uh, Snoqualmie Falls. Snoqualmie Falls, I know. I went as to soon that. as we moved out to Seattle, you started using all the Seattle uh, flora and hey, fauna. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I was inspired. Inspired. <laughs> oh, pick up this plasma. We probably had more waterfalls in this game than all the other Halo combined. games combined. Yes, we did. Uh, hit up. Artist named Jeff Palmer do a lot of the particle side. The of, effects, effects are amazing. That. Yeah, they turned out really well. I love the stuff well. that he did with the water particles coming down. They look amazing. Yeah, those are cool. And if you Shouldn't stand up, be a the rainbow in this. You're going. <laughs> My favorite part about this was uh, the the uh, the engineers made some change to physics. So when they when when all the Spartans run into the water, they got swept oh, down yeah. the, <laughs> down the river. There was a point where you couldn't even go against the current. Yeah, it Remember would just the it would sweep you away. Like sweep, getting swept away and killed the mission away. every time. That Patchy fog is amazing, like, yeah. man! What a great atmosphere. The elites. This is the first game where we've had. You guys probably don't notice this, but the balance between combat dialogue and mission dialogue and cinematic dialogue. The way that all flows together and the volume balances is as good as we've ever done. Better than we've ever done. I'm You're really right. happy about it. Yeah, we're finally learning. Contacts neutralized. Contacts. It's the damn covenant. It's the damn covenant. Marcus. I'm scared. More Moas. Ride them. Oh, why don't we hit the Moas? You know, most people will melee the Moas as soon as they see them. I just, it's impossible not to. You know, for a while, every time you killed a Moa, Cat would, would laugh because she had a, a, a little yeah. response to killing an alien. So, oh. so sometimes you'd hear this and we got a Why'd you take bug that, out? that said that we were... That she was, was, was kind of cruel. <laughs> so we actually had to take that out. Oh, bummer. As soon as I heard it, they, they did a saved film of her laughing when you kill a Moa and it was so good, I, I wanted to keep it in forever. But. <laughs> I like the bug where you could kill Cat and she'd come back as a zombie. She would come back with that <laughs> voice and just kind of follow you around with it. <laughs> uh, I missed that. Why one. did we lose that? I don't know. That was the best thing ever. Oh, there's Ron Livingston from Office Space. What? Yeah, yeah. Ron Livingston. He's the, uh, the guy we just heard. Nice. But better than Office Space was Band of Brothers. He was. That's why we hired him, because he was so good in Band of Brothers. Yes. Noble leader, be advised. I have visual on inbound covenant dropships. Evac transport, keep your distance. For our fans, that previous encounter right there is so fun to do with vehicle only. Just plow through them. Oh. Back and forth, plow through them. Mow them down like a giant Let's get you out harvester. I never tried it that way. <laughs> yes, he is the famous, uh, Ron Livingston plays the famous Corporal Travis. Yeah. Yeah. And we never see Corporal Travis ever again. Which is really depressing to me. Oh, he dies. <laughs> I love that we brought back the tuning fork. That was always yes. one of my favorite vehicles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One. It's so iconic. The spirit. Oh, I'm sorry, the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never call it that, though. I can't. The it tuning is fork. always the tuning fork. Oh, my God. I love the sound of that grenade. Although, you know, the thing costs more than like half our vehicles combined what the tuning fork because it, it had like individual seats with little handles and oh. cushions and everything and there's what eight seats on a side See, that's why i had to cut the music we had, oh, what <laughs> no we cut it way back <laughs> it became uh, affordable that's good i like the different designs of the uh, windmills yeah we got the big darius combine kind of things and then those uh, i don't know what you call those little circular ones the, the turbines ones. oh mm. They're cool. Everybody okay? Check in. See, there's an example of some nice combat dialogue response behavior. Transport. LZ is clear. Move in for evac. Falcon. Finally, we get a troop carrier in here. So at this point, you're leaving the Kiva area, the little residential 